Hey guys, Patronix23 here, once again for another Smash Talk thing, but this time it's an update, because I know newcomer video hasn't come yet, but the reason for that is for, as everyone knows, at this point, the game is less than a week than coming from coming out in Japan, and once it comes out, then we're going to know every character. So instead of doing just starting the newcomer series and just having this huge information dump in the middle of it, I'd rather just wait till the end of the week and then go over every single character that I haven't talked about yet, which is every newcomer and the rest of the veterans that will be announced, or not announced, uh, shown once the game comes out in Japan. And I don't know if uh, they're going to do something on the website, the official Smash Brothers website, where um, like Sakurai does the thing we did in Brawl, where there's the question marks and if you click on them it shows the spoilers with the extra characters. But if that's it, or even if it's not, I'll find another way to do this, but I plan on posting a reaction video to all the characters that are like the unlockable characters, because I would try to avoid spoilers like this, but I know there's no way I'm not going to. Because of just I'm not getting off the internet for that long, and the suspense would kill me even anyways. So, this is just a really quick episode of Smash Talk, it's more so of an update. And um, especially, uh, definitely after the game comes out, I'll still doing, be doing these Smash Talks. It won't be about speculation anymore. It'll be about what we have and just experiences in general. So overall, just hopefully the the whole the, the, there's a lot of good characters that are unlockable in this game. I'm still hoping for Mewtwo. Still hoping for Ridley. Who knows though? Anything could happen. All right, guys, just keep on smashing.